Hey guys, welcome back to the Goodview Woodworks channel. My name is Nathan, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make an awesome little cutting board from epoxy and this piece of live edge black walnut. Check it out. Subscribe now and click the bell for notifications. All right, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and build our form. And if you don't know how to build a form for epoxy, I'll go ahead and link it up in a card right here. That way you can see step-by-step step how to build a form. So what we're gonna do with this piece of wood here is I'm gonna go ahead and rip it down the middle on the table saw, or actually on the band saw, and then we will get to making this river. All right, next step is I'm gonna take my chisel and I'm gonna go ahead and scrape off all of this bark and get this bark off of here. All right, so now that we've got our form built, as you can see here, we got the bottom taped up with packing tape, with heavy duty shipping tape from Scotch. And we have the sides taped up here with packing tape. I mean, it's not very thick pour, so we don't have to go very thick. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some caulk And we're going to caulk all these edges here and then we will clamp it down to our form. That way we know no uh, epoxy is going to be able to leak out. All right, so now once the caulk is setting up, uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to run our finger along the edge to catch all the squeeze out. And what you wanna do so that you don't have any leaks is make sure that you go around they go around all the edges inside and out. Okay, now that we have our form caulked and it's waiting to dry, what we're gonna do is we're gonna prepare our wood for the form. To do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit of epoxy, mix it up, and we're gonna seal the edges. 
we're going to seal these edges right here so that when we do pour epoxy, no air bubbles come out of here and mess up our river. So we don't want our river messed up. But we're gonna, I'm going to show you another little trick to keep your minds at ease so that you don't think that the two pieces are going to break off after we epoxy. I'll show you what we're going to do. We're going to drill a couple of small holes here in the river. And that way when we pour the epoxy, the epoxy will flow into the holes and they will act as dowels to hold everything together. Here we go. Look, we already have a little hole right here. All right, now all we have to do is seal these edges. We're gonna put some epoxy on these edges to seal it up so no air bubbles come out. All right guys, just as a reminder, this is a casting epoxy or a casting resin. So it's actually a two to one mix ratio. So we'll do one part hardener two parts resin. All right, let's get this thing mixed up. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna just take some of this epoxy and we're just gonna brush it on brush it onto the edge here. Go ahead and sit this one down into the form. So because I'm using casting epoxy, I could do this whole thing in one pour. But what I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna do two pours. One, so that we can we can use up what's left in the bucket. And two, we, can keep, we don't have to use clamps to hold it down. If you do a small pour first, then you won't need clamps to hold it down so that the wood doesn't float. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix some pigment into this epoxy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit of this Black Diamond Caribbean Blue metallic powder. We're gonna add just a touch in there. You don't need much. A little bit goes a long way. Now remember, we have to pop all those bubbles, so get your heat gun or torch out. Oh man, it's gonna be real pretty. All right guys, now that, we, now that we've let this sit overnight, we've got our first layer. It's still tacky. Our first layer is still tacky, so we don't have to sand or anything before we add the next layer. So what we're going to do is we're going to mix up enough epoxy to completely fill that cavity, and then we will be ready after it dries to finish up this cutting board. So here comes the fun part.
All right, now we're gonna take a little bit of that Caribbean blue. Mix some in there. That is really pretty. All right, we're gonna mix up just a little bit more and make sure that it overflows the top a little bit. And that way we don't have so much to plane off in the end. All right, here it is after the final pour. Very, very pretty. All right, we're gonna let this thing sit and get nice and hard over the next couple of days. And then we will be ready to plane it down and put some finish on it. And what we're gonna be doing is since it's a cutting board, we're gonna be using a, a wax and oil finish so that it's food safe. I wanna give a shout out to my friend Cameron over at Capturing Christianity. This cutting board is for his wife. And so uh, if you guys wanna check out his channel, it's called Capturing Christianity, really cool channel. Go ahead and go over there and check it out. All right, thanks guys. Guys, we're back and this cutting board is nice and solid. So we're gonna go ahead and pull it out of the form. Check it out. Nice. Looks real pretty. Had a few little bubble right there and a little bubble right there, but it doesn't matter because we're gonna go ahead and plane this thing down. So let's bust this joker out of the form. Guys, just so you know, this worked really well. Putting caulk on the bottom side of the wood here worked super great. I would totally recommend doing that. This thing looks really cool, right? Looks super awesome. Can you see through it? All right, let's get this thing planed down. Thing finished up. Woo, doggy!
Now that we're done planing that sucker down, it's time to trim up the edges and put some finish on this joker. Well, we gotta sand it too, so. Sand it, trim up the edges, trim up the edges, sand it, and put some finish on this joker. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get the sand in this thing. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with 80 grit sandpaper and then 100 grit and then uh, 150 and 220. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and just start with 100 grit first. All right, guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to let that sit and dry and we're going to come back tomorrow. So we're almost done. Guys, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to the right for notifications. Be sure to check the link in the description for all the materials and stuff that I use in this video. And like always, guys, thanks for hanging out with us.